Femex is making our first NFT, but we need your help. In this video, I'll explain how to go through the process so that you can be part of the final product and have a chance at sharing the final earnings. The first thing we'll need from you is your Femex ETH deposit wallet QR code. We're going to be using everybody's QR codes to create the final artwork. So let me show you how to find this. First, you're going to go to the Femex homepage and assets, then click on deposit. You'll be brought to this page, change BTC to ETH, and then click continue in the middle. And over here is your QR code. It's hard to copy it directly, so if you right click on it, it will stay up and then you can right click on the QR code and you'll be able to save the image directly. All right, let's look how to get your QR code from your Femex mobile app. First, you're going to click on account down here on the bottom right, and then you're going to click on deposit, which is right here. And then make sure you change BTC to ETH, and here's your QR code, and you can simply click save. And make sure you don't include the ETH logo or anything else with your QR code. We only want the QR code itself, so you can crop it down. Just if it's on your phone, just click edit, go to crop crop it close to the QR code, and that's how you should submit it. Now that you've gotten your QR code, let's talk about how to participate. First, you're going to upload your QR code to the Gleam campaign. And then on that same page, you'll provide your Femix UID and your ETH deposit address, and then follow Femix on Twitter. After you do these first four, there will be additional steps that you can complete for more entries. So let's go to that page to take a look, make sure we know how to do all of those. All right, here we are on the Gleam page. So you'll scroll down and there's some written instructions, but we already know. Let's log in, I'll just use Google. And now I am logged in. So let's go to upload your QR code. You already know these, upload the file. And then once you've found it, you can click upload and it will upload here. There we go, there it is. And then you can click continue and wait a second. Sometimes you'll need to do a CAPTCHA. All right, the CAPTCHA is done. So scroll back down. Oh look, QR code is done. So we're going to need to get your Femex ID. Let me show you how to get that real quick. It's very easy. Go back to Femex. And from the home page, you're going to go up, hover over your name, and go down to account and security. And then your UID is right here. So you can just copy that and submit it into the form. Now that you have your Femix UID, you can go and click on there, and then it will just ask you to input it here. So I'll just input some random numbers. Make sure yours is your correct ID. And look, check mark, you've done that. So now the next part is going to be your Femex ETH address, which you can find right beside your QR code. So once you've copied your uh, Femex ETH address, you can just copy it and then click there. And then just copy and paste is the easiest way. And then click continue. And done. You've added your ETH address. Next, we're going to follow Femex on Twitter. So if you're already logged into Twitter, it'll be easy. Just click there, and then you'll just follow automatically. And then we have all of these extra steps. Once you've completed the first four, uh, you've submitted a normal entry, and then all of these extra steps will give you additional entries to increase your chance of becoming one of the lucky winners. Let me clarify real quick exactly how the event works. Once you complete the four initial steps I showed you on Gleam, then the additional steps that you saw underneath will appear. Some of these you can do multiple times a day, and the more steps you complete, the more entries you'll receive. At the end of the auction, winners will be chosen randomly, but those with more entries will have a higher chance of being chosen. Let's take a look at what you'll be eligible to win. Jack is going to place a minimum bid to guarantee a profit for all the lucky winners. 
So he's going to do an initial bid of $100,000. And of course, if more people uh, bid after this initial bid, then the payout to the winners will be higher because it will, based, uh, it will be based on whatever the ending bid is. In case you're curious, the auction will take place on OpenSea. You can see the link here. And of course, if you'd like to place your own bid, you should make sure you sign up and do it there on OpenSea. Here's a quick review of the dates. We'll be collecting QR codes from March 19th, 3 p.m. UTC, that's already happening. And this is going to end on April 2nd, also at 3 p.m. UTC. Then the artwork will, will be completed by April 12th, and the auction will start that same day. The auction is going to stay open for a week, which means the auction will close on April 19th, when we'll have the final bid. Now, to make sure everything's totally clear, let's go over the terms and conditions. To qualify for this event, you must have completed all actions on the Gleam campaign before April 2nd. And if you're a lucky winner, funds will be sent as ETH to your Femex account. The ETH QR code and ETH wallet address you submit must be from a Femex account. Submitting any other QR code or address will disqualify you from this event. Users are only eligible to participate with a single account. If we detect multiple accounts with the same IP addresses or GUIDs, all offending accounts will be immediately disqualified. All right, that's it. I hope this video helped you figure everything out and I hope you'll submit your QR codes and we're all looking forward to seeing what the final product looks like.